Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to this very special WIP and Chat. WIP stands for Work in Progress, so grab whatever project you are currently working on or maybe it's a chore that you need to do or maybe you're getting ready for work. As one wonderful subscriber commented that she listens while she gets ready for work, so here's to you. Um, and then let me chat with you for a while, except today... We have a special guest with us. I have Hello. daughter, daughter number three. Today is her 11th birthday. Yes. So happy birthday, Evie. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we'd be happy too. Yay! <laughs> um, so yes, so Miss Guinevere here is working on a loom that she got for her birthday. If you remember me talking in my last whoop and chat, the dog did attack her last loom. Yes. I was able to find a sadly very cheap loom for her on Amazon that I could have delivered yesterday. So at least she does have something to work on and I know she kind of wants to talk about that a little bit. She does have mm -hmm. a few gripes with it but you know and a few good things. Given the situation it's the best we could do. So Evie, why don't you tell them uh, what you are working on. Actually, first, let me just say, I am doing a Paint Gym mini kit from their florals kit. Mm -hmm. And that's what I will be doing on, um, working on from Paint Gym. So, yes. now, Evie, fill us in. What is it that you are currently doing here? I am currently making coasters. I have a few grites with this new loom, but also a few good things. But the good things is I'm on the... I don't know what this is called. Can't remember what this is called. But the actual like loom in this part, it's very sturdy, very nicely built. But I mainly have gripes with the comb. First of all, the comb does not fit on the strings like it should. And that makes it fall off a lot. That makes it very annoying and aggravating. <laughs> and I don't like that because I like to have it sit right here. And whenever I need it, I can just push it down. But I can't do that because it doesn't sit on the strings correctly. Like, right now it is. But, like, you shake it around a bit, and trust me, it falls off very easily. It's not a good example. But, yeah. And this is also flexible. I'll probably be moving to the one that Alfie did not rip up later because it's a lot better to use. I'm a, but I thought, hey, why not try it out? So what I need to do is I, uh, I'll need to like do a few strings normally and then what I need to do is I need to like lift and push down the ones that need, need to go under and over. So, yeah. When did you start weaving, Abby? Um, I believe it was, it was in 2021 sometime. I started, got a loom for Christmas and I loved it so much. So this... We know it was in 2020. It was 2021 20, Christmas. Got a loom for Christmas and I loved it so much. Started weaving with it. It's quite fun. And I made posters. So the first few I made were for mom and my sister and stuff like that. And then I started making sets. And mom and mom would This sell is those. one of her coasters that I use. Yes, she took it from me. It was it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be from my autumn set because I make, I make two specialty sets for each season or holidays or stuff like that. I don't have a winter set, but I do have like a Christmas set, a, I'm a, an autumn set, which I'm working on right now, and a few other sets, like a Valentine's set, so. I but I needed a coaster at yeah. my table. Yeah, so she took... So, and um, I use it every day. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Mostly for your LaCroix. Mostly for my LaCroix. That yes. is true. <laughs> that is accurate. I do love my fizzy water. Yes, you do. You very much do. <laughs> I am also here to show off something I got for my birthday from one of my friends, which I very much love. It's in a very cool black box. It is a frog rock. I very much love frogs, and it's a polished little rock. That's cute. I haven't seen shape, that yet. In the shape of a frog. It's adorable. 
I very much love it. That's really awesome. I'm just gonna set it right here. Why do you love frogs, Abby? Um, since I was three months old, I believe, I have been watching the Muppets. I and because of that, I started to really love Kermit the Frog and all the other Muppets, because they are all amazing. So I started watching the Muppets, and in fact, when I got my tonsils taken out when I was... Barely four. Yeah, barely four. I, on repeat, watched Muppets Rocky Mountain. So, yeah. Yeah, well, like um, Muppets Rocky Mountain Christmas or something with Bob Denver? Um, not Christmas, but Muppets oh. Rocky Mountain, yeah. Okay. And I just found it back today. So. I probably have had it hiding since then because yeah. she was in our room all week while well, <laughs> she was recovering. I made her a nice little bed on the floor by me. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, she I, had I, this I portable have... DVD player. I did. And she, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, and she'd start this Muppet video again. And, and 45 <laughs> yeah, minutes maybe. later, whatever, she'd start it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. Oh. And again. <laughs> So much so, I have gotten one of the songs stuck in my head, and it's still in my head. I've never watched it it's since still in her that head. day. Seven years later, people. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how I am. I have remembered it, but yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite Muppet movies oh, or Muppet-related things? Would you, why would you ask me to make a tier list? Well, I'm not making... I said a few, so it's not, oh, I'm not asking you to name, okay. like, one. Well, I, I really love the Muppet movie original. I really like um, uh, Walter. It's quite a good character. So you like um, The Muppets, which was yes. the Muppet movie redo that was made in... 2010 I think that one came out 2010 yeah and um, uh, so not not the original Muppet movie but the yeah no the original Muppet movie I'm not a huge fan of but I still like it I mean I'd like almost every single Muppet movie the only one that I think I've ever even partially disliked is Muppets Take Manhattan what really yeah I thought you really liked that one. No. Are you sure? Yeah. I swear you went through a phase where you loved Muppets Take Manhattan. I did. But after that, oh, I kind of okay. got sick of it. Okay. Because I'm like, because we gave that to one of your teachers as a gift. One year I gave each of their teachers when they were still all in elementary school. I gave their teachers copies of each of the girls' favorite movies. And um, yeah. just something unique and different. And I swear I gave, I think it was your second grade teacher. Miss Brasington? Yeah, Miss Brasington also loved the movie, the Muppet movies. Yeah, and I gave, her, and you loved Muppets Take Manhattan that yeah, year. So that yeah. was the one I gave her. Yeah. Um, yeah so you're that, just currently not. I'm currently not a huge fan of it. Yeah. But maybe you'll come back around. Maybe it will. Maybe it okay. will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe um, it will. We don't know. So, uh, who are some of your favorite Muppets? Um, Fozzie, Kermit, Walter, Gonzo, and Animal are definitely like my top five. Okay, okay. I okay. remember this, for some odd reason, whenever I think of Walter and Animal together, I think of this one scene in Muppets Most Wanted where they're on a train. I can't remember exactly what they're doing since I haven't watched Muppets on the Most Wanted in a while, sadly. So, yeah, but I, re I remember that one scene. <coughs> For those of you who are um, <laughs> not up to date on Muppet info, <laughs> Walter was a new Muppet that was introduced in The Muppets, which was yeah. that 2010 movie that I spoke about. Yeah. Um, He's a brand new Muppet. Brand new Muppet, but he was he was actually really well done. Like if you yeah. like the original Muppets, you'll love Walter. You well, you you you'll will like, you, you will, will like Walter. You yeah. will adapt to him and enjoy him. Yeah, so I mean, if you're like, who Walter? I don't ever remember a Walter. <laughs> yeah, That's no, who Wal Walter Walter's is. Walter's new. Walter's new. He, he's not in any of the like old um, uh, Muppet episodes. 
that you can find on like Disney Plus and stuff. Yes, Evie is also probably about the only, I was going to say 10 year old, but now you're no, 11. Ten. Probably about the only 11 year old <laughs> child in existence that has that. watched all of the Muppet Show yeah. several times <laughs> over. Yes, <laughs> I have. I have watched at least one episode of every single Muppet thing, except for the original Muppet Babies. Sadly, we cannot have it anywhere. I no. So about that. Uh, too much copyright problems with it, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. And that's unfortunate because that was my Saturday morning cartoon. That's what I watched every yeah, Saturday that, morning. And Muppet you called, Babies. And you, what did you call it again? Uh, Muppet Babies? No, when you were little, you called it like Muppet. No, nope, Muppet Babies. I swear you called it something cute. No, I don't think it. so. Maybe a sister did because my sisters were younger than me. But oh, no. yeah, you're... Si I'm a, it was Stephanie. Muppet Babies. I'm a... Aunt. And Stephanie. Yeah, she, Auntie Stephanie may have. I don't rem I don't remember. I'm pretty sure she called it um, uh, Muffet Babies. Could have been Muffet Babies. That would yeah, make I'm sense. Sure Muffet, Muffet babies. babies. Yeah, that could yeah. be. Aunt Stephanie used to call it Muffet Babies, and it was adorable. And Mom said it was very adorable. And um, I can imagine it being adorable. But, I mean, it was an awesome show. It was just the best cartoon, man. Every Saturday morning, I couldn't wait to watch it. And then Christmas of 1988... When McDonald's came out with the Fozzie, Kermit, and Miss Piggy stuffed animal special items. Yeah, no, you... you we were. each got one that year, because I have two younger sisters, so we each got one. I got Miss Piggy. And, I mean, I couldn't wait. For Friday night, I put Miss Piggy in bed with me, because I could only... I was only allowed one stuffed animal in bed with me every night. So, it was my happy clown every night, except Friday night, it would be Miss Piggy... So that Saturday morning, we could run downstairs and watch the Muppet Babies together. <laughs> and sadly, my Miss Piggy is long gone. But several years ago. I actually I believe it was two. Two years ago? Yeah, I believe it was two years ago. What I did got, you get, Evie? I got every single one of those special edition little Muppet stuffed animals. And they are, they are very adorable. She did. This is the one child I have gone to great lengths to try yes. and find presents for her <laughs> because i i love the muppets because she loves the muppets but they're, they're not, not exactly they're not the most popular thing at present so she has gotten a lot of, a lot of old stuff yes, old board old. games old books old toys <laughs> yes and I she's been it. thrilled with every single one <laughs> yes <laughs> So that was one of my, that was one of my favorite finds. Cause for me, that was also like reliving part of my childhood. Yeah, it definitely was. And I actually found them in perfect condition. Yeah, they, they were in perfect condition. Like they absolutely. were still in bags. Yeah. They except were. one, one wasn't. And I believe that was. I think it was Fozzie. Yeah, Fozzie, I'm pretty sure. He was not in a bag anymore, but he still was. He in, still was in absolutely yeah. perfect condition. I they was, were. They were in new condition. Yeah, I I literally asked mom, like, is this what the Muppet Babies used to look like? And she's like, yeah, these are perfect stuffed animals of what they used to look like. Do you remember one Christmas you had a very special request for Santa Claus? Um, no, I can't. Oh, think about it. One Christmas, what you wanted more than anything from Santa Claus was... What was it, Evie? I can't believe you don't remember. Now I'm so bummed. <laughs> Were you, like, preparing to ask me about this? No, I just thought of it. Your sisters got American Girl dolls the same year. You didn't want an American Girl doll. No. You wanted... I wanted... I'm pretty sure I wanted something Kermit. I can't remember what. I am, I am heartbroken. This was, like, one of my best <laughs> feats as Santa. <sighs> I know. <laughs> More than anything, she wanted a, a Kermit pillow, wasn't it? A talking Kermit. Oh yeah. And I, I got it by the <coughs> way. I got it. <laughs> yes. So when the girls are five or six, they got American Girl dolls. Yeah. But Evie, I'm like no. <laughs> Evie's like no. I want a talking Kermit, and I'm thinking, uh oh, um. 
That's going to be a problem. And she's like, Santa Claus can make me a talking Kermit. And I, you know, I'm trying to explain, well, you know, it just you can't, make kinda, you can't make everything. And, you know, there's demand is an issue and not a lot of kids are demanding talking Kermits, you know, but we'll, we'll put in the request. We'll see what happens. So. Lo and behold, guys, I found this older gentleman out of Utah who had a talking Kermit and he sold me this talking Kermit for... It was a great price. I mean, for a collectible item, it was still in box. I mean, he's not anymore because as soon as, of course, the five or six-year-old child got him, he was ripped <laughs> out. But, yeah, he um, was. you know, he was perfect, brand new, collectible condition, yeah, talking was, Kermit. He, and I don't remember what I paid for him, but I even said to the guy, you know, really, this price is phenomenal. Are you okay with this price and he's like yeah absolutely and I thanked him profusely I'm like you are going to make a little girl's Christmas if she yes. ever doubted the existence of Santa Claus she will no longer <laughs> yeah no <laughs> I did not at all I I opened him up and I'm like oh, mom he got it he got it he got it he got it he got it, he got it. <laughs> I was very excited but I'm so sad that it didn't go down as like this big amazing christmas memory for you <laughs> it it did i just i was just so young at that <sighs> point like to to me i don't re really remember asking for things i more remember when i get it all instead. right but i'm sorry i was just so i mean that was one of my better santa claus moments yes I was, that was that was a great gift I, i'd like to say that and I remember bringing him in in first grade and like, I have this. I remember a bunch of kids are like, he's eating me, he's eating me. Oh yeah, because his mouth moves and everything. He's really cute. Yeah, it's, it's really great. For a while we had him um, uh, in our, on a shelf in... In the living room. Yeah. Um. Now he's taken very good care of in my room. And I am I am very happy with him. He is he is very um uh, very good. He makes different um uh, different noises. One of his is together again. Uh the song Together Again from the Muppets. Can't remember exactly how it goes, but yeah. And I am very I got very excited and I'm like, Mom, Mom, it came. Santa actually got it. I knew Santa would do it. Yeah, I knew, I knew Santa had it. I knew it. So yeah, I I got <coughs> this talking talking Kermit, and I am I'm very happy about it. It is a very cute, adorable thing, and it is quite impressive that Mom was able to find it. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. The comb just fell off. <laughs> But yeah, I, I very much love that thing. I almost said I loved that thing, but then I realized I still do, so. <laughs> so yeah, so Evie and her Muppet obsession here. <laughs> My Muppet obsessed child. They're here. And it's really kind of funny, because of course, kids her age, for the most part, they don't know the Muppets, yeah. except... <laughs> A lot of Evie's classmates do now yeah. that have grown up with her because <laughs> <laughs> I, I I talked about it and talked about it and talked about it. <laughs> you know, half of her wardrobe has Muppet things. She's wearing a Gonzo t-shirt right now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Almost every year for school, she has a Muppet backpack. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So you know, after a while, <laughs> kids are like, "Yeah, the Muppets. That's what you know. That's what Evie likes." <laughs> I know the Muppets. And I, I remember one time in fifth grade, the new, the new Haunted Mansion Gonzo the Muppet movie came out. And I was so excited. And one of my friends watched it and I'm like, that's it? And I'm a, one of the kids at school watching and I'm like, that's it? Not any of the other movies? And she's like, no. And I'm like, seriously? So she'd only seen that one Muppet thing? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that is a travesty. I know! I am so very upset. 
So in my whipping chats, I always do a community question or try to always do a community question. And I think today's very appropriate community question would be that if you are familiar with the Muppets, what who's your, your favorite, favorite Muppet character? Or what movie is your favorite? Because you answer either one. Because sometimes it can be hard to choose a favorite Muppet. So you have to, you know, favorite Muppet and or favorite Muppet movie. Yes. And I think we can include like every Muppet produced, so TV special, TV, TV series, series, anything like that. Anything Muppet related. Like there's um, a Muppets Wow, and it involve um, uh, on Disney Plus. It's kind of new. It involves it involves like little kid. It involves like little adorable little kids talking to the Muppets, and the Muppets will like ask some questions. Like Gonzo, I'm pretty sure once asked this little girl, "Have you ever flown out of a cannon?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you want to fly out of the cannon someday? Um, I guess is she's probably like, uh, no. No, she said I want to, but oh I haven't. boy, <laughs> wow, a girl after Gonzo's heart. <laughs> yes. So, any sort of answered that question. Her favorite Muppet movie is um, uh, the Muppets. The original. Muppets, twenty ten release. Yes. And she has several favorite Muppet characters. If you could yes. narrow it down to just one or two, though. Uh, Are you, could you uh, do that? Uh, 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 or is that just asking uh, for way too much? <laughs> it might be too much. I I can do two. Two? I might not be able to do one. All right, two. Probably Walter and Kermit. Yeah, I knew that. Walter yeah. and Kermit, I knew yeah. that. I, I very much love Walter and Kermit. They are very amazing. I remember the first time I ever watched Muppets Original, and I'm like... <gasps> No, you don't remember the first time you watched it because you were a few months old. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. but I do. I do remember. Um, uh, I do remember one time when I watched when I was old enough to remember, it. and like I like Walter and my mom. Mom's like, I know, I know you very much too. <clears throat> yeah, and you know people are kind of skeptical. Like, did she really like the Muppets when she was a baby? Yes. And, <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. She did. Um. <laughs> So what my husband got a copy of the movie from my sister for his birthday. And uh, let's we had put it on. <laughs> let's just say And <laughs> Evie was enthralled. She was in her little bouncy seat and just captivated <laughs> by the TV screen. Um and it became a guaranteed it did not matter what was going on, how often she'd seen it, if she was kind of cranky or something, or if I needed to get stuff done, I could yes, put her in yes. that bouncy seat, <laughs> put on that movie, and I knew I had at least 25 minutes that she would be totally <laughs> in love with what she was seeing yes, on the screen. I would be. And it didn't matter how many times I'd seen it, how how cranky I was, how tired I was, I would... I would sit and stare at that screen, and I'd be like, this is the greatest day of all time. <laughs> so then we started expanding out, and we got more Muppet stuff, yeah, and it, more, you know, it just turned more. out the kid just really, really loved yeah. the Muppets. Yeah. Who A part of her just really relates with them, I guess. A part of you is a Muppet. <laughs> You're a Muppet of a girl. <laughs> Are you a Muppet? <laughs> or are you a girl? Please comment down below if you actually know what that is. <laughs> um, For me, who is my favorite Muppet, Evie? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I am so disappointed in you. All right, so I also have two favorites, but if I had to question. really pick and choose, Gonzo yes. is my favorite. Yes, you do. You do love Gonzo. What's the other? Kermit. Yeah, how am I not surprised? <laughs> I relate to Kermit. Yes, Kermit's amazing. Uh, but I love Gonzo. I've I, always loved Gonzo. He yes. was my favorite as a kid, too. I am wearing Gonzo the Great as a shirt right yep. now. I, Gonzo, Gonzo would be... He's my favorite. Yes. My favorite... You love Gonzo. Movie or... Yeah, what? what is it? What is it? it? You know, it I might be know. Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet's Christmas Carol is really nice. It's just so well done. Mm -hmm. The passion that was put into that movie. Because that was released shortly after Jim Henson died. And it was just so well done. Where are you? 
Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? <laughs> to get to get this. Oh, she wants to show off a birthday present. I got it today and I remembered it. Mention of Muppets Christmas Carol. I got this Muppet Christmas Carol shirt. Yep, that was part of her birthday present. Yes, it was, and I very much love it, and I'm very much happy with it. <laughs> it's adorable. Kermit and... Come on, I know this. Little... Little Timmy or Little Robin, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, yeah, Tiny Tim is the character yeah, he's Tiny playing. Yeah, Tiny Tim, Tiny Tim. But it's Robin. Yeah, Robin is Tiny Tim. Kermit keeps his name. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't. He does. He is. Plays. Oh, my. Kermit is, of course, the. Bob Cratchit. Is Bob Cratchit, of course. I mean, Bob Cratchit is basically the main character. And that would be Scrooge, but okay. But <laughs> you think of Bob Cratchit as the main character because Kermit plays Bob Cratchit. <laughs> uh, why? I mean, The Muppet Christmas Carol, not only is it phenomenally well done, it is. It's um, but I love that they movie. use the actual language from the book, from the classic, I think it's technically a, a, a novella or maybe even a short story. Um, they did an amazing job using Gonzo and yeah. Rizzo as narrators. Yes. Just they made it quite funny. Rizzo and his jelly beans. It's it's very good. Very, very good. Rizzo and his beloved jelly beans. All right, well, we should probably change the subject because, you know... I could go on for hours. Exactly. <laughs> Just like, if you have not noticed, my children develop very special interests in things. So when I had daughter number two in here, we spent a long time talking about wrestling. Yeah. Uh, with daughter um, number three, we spend a long time talking about <laughs> the Muppets. So they have very, very developed and, and pervasive and devoted, devoted special interests. <laughs> um, yes. So tell us some other things about you, Evie. What are some of your um, favorite things in school and what grade are you? And math. You math. like math. 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 Um, I, I'm a sixth grader, but I, I actually do eighth grade math, algebra. Actually, that would be ninth grade math because mm -hmm. even Sylvia is, that's advanced math for Sylvia, and she's eighth grade. It's technically a ninth grade so class. I'm technically doing a ninth grade level math. I remember one time I was I was quite insulted because this one kid I told him like he asked why are you in here and I'm like oh I do I do I do algebra and he's like and he's like that's so cool that you're here because you're smart and I'm like what since when since when was that a thing? But what do you mean? I was, were you insulted that he thought you were cool? No, he thought that I was uncool. Oh, of it. you know, like I thought you said that. When was that a thing? I thought you said that he said cool. No, no, he said uncool. And I'm like, since when was that a thing? Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> like I, I worked hard to be here. I worked very hard to be here. Well, who was that? Is he in your algebra class? Um, no, he is not. Oh, who? What grade is he? Eighth. How did how do you know him then? Gym class or what? Um, Miss Miss Finney was doing a Miss Finney was subbing for class and they were in her classroom when I arrived a few minutes early. Oh, okay. Um, and he's and he's like, "Why are you here? Why are you, you come early?" So I told him I have to leave fifth hour a bit early and <coughs> I do eighth grade math. I do algebra. And he's like, "That's so uncool." It's so uncool. Oh boy. Well, fine. Be that way. Yeah, be that way. I don't care. Yeah, I was I was very offended by that because I, I worked very hard to be in algebra. I learned a lot and I tried very hard to do to be in that class and learn the best that I could. And this kid, he's like, it's so cool that you're here. 
Oh, she's Louise. I know. Well, that's rude. Uh-huh. She'd be like, well, it's so uncool that you have lunch detention every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that he has lunch detention. Oh, okay. <laughs> he probably doesn't, but... Still. He, he's kind of annoying. <laughs> So you're into math. What else? What are some of your other hobbies? Um, well, weaving, of course. I Reading, think. yeah. What's your favorite book series? Red Wall. Red Wall. Red Wall. <laughs> and Red Wall. She loves Red Wall. <laughs> but you're reading something different right now. Um, Keeper of the Lost Cities, book nine. It was, I got it from a special book talk. For, as one of my very, very special birthday presents, I wouldn't. I expect that a lot of you have probably heard of Keeper of the Lost Cities. It is a very popular book series. Book nine just came out, and I have I have already gotten to page three hundred. Oh my! Okay, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what did you do Friday night? What was Friday um, night? It was a very special book talk on Stellar Loan. It was supposed to be three, hour, three hours. Two long. hours. It was supposed to be two hours. She has a one and a half year old son and her son started needing her. So it was not as long as it was originally supposed to be as her son. I'm pretty sure like he was doing something that he was not supposed to. So, so he had to end it there and go take care of him. Because being a new mother isn't always that easy, you could say. So, yeah, she had to go take care of her one and a half year old son. So, the book talk had to end, but it was... While she was there, it was very interesting. And she actually revealed in the book talk that she... We we all were pretty sad because she said that she's going to end it on book... Book, um, uh, book 10... We all very much were sad about that because we love Keeper Lost Cities. And she said she isn't able to fit everything into the books that she wanted to. So she's going to be doing a book 11. Evie is quite excited about that. Yes. Now, what is the premise of this series? Um, It is about this elven girl, Sophie Foster. She, she, she was born in the human world, but when she was created kind of by a kind of rebel group kind of not because they're the good guys called the black swan so i'm only going to explain the first book really because i don't want to spoil that much in case if you're you've not read it so far or anything she she gets introduced to the human to the elven world by fitz vacker also known as Golden Boy by <laughs> Sophie's, also known as Wonder Boy by Sophie's best friend Dex. Me trying to think of Dex's last name. Uh, well, is this like a they need to save the universe type uh, series? More saving the elven world and Sophie almost die in every single book. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, it happens every single book. Okay. My favorite book, book seven. Most of it is Sophie in the Healing Center. Oh. <laughs> Which I assume is like a hospital? Yes. But maybe for elves? Yes, and you usually spend a lot less time there as than you would a normal hospital. Because... There's if, magic involved? Kinda. Even if you had like a broken arm, which you normally would be in the hospital for for at least a few days. Um, no, you wouldn't. Well, you would get like a splint and stuff. Stuff like that. Um... Elven world, you'd have to stay there for like a day or something, but you don't need like a splint or anything like that. Oh, you just heal. Yeah, you just heal oh, with something cold. Versus there. like here, it would take six weeks. Yeah, in the elven world, you might need a splint for two days. Oh. And like you'd need to stay there because you have to take some very horrible tasting medicine. Okay. Called marrow regenerator. Marrow regenerator. All right. And, but it heals you very quickly. So, yeah. But, of course, Sophie, as the main character, almost dies every single book. And it cannot work that way with her. No, not at all. 
she needs to be in there for over five for over 400 pages oh my that is a good chunk of the book these books are huge though like, yeah they're like 800 pages well, right book eight is yeah they're they're not little books yeah no <laughs> so most of the book is like 400 500 pages so she has branched out beyond Redwall now, which is good because her teachers, she's had some teachers a little concerned about what else can we find this child that she'll enjoy <laughs> yeah. at least almost as much as Redwall. <laughs> yeah, I know, because I am very picky with my books. I cannot have just any book. She is picky, but she does very, like this Keeper of the Lost picky. Cities, and of course there's always Redwall. Fortunately, there's what, 24 Redwall books? 22. 22 red wall books so i mean that's a pretty good sized library and now yeah. there's nine keeper of the lost city books out mm -hmm. I am. and if there's 11 of those total that makes 33 books that i will read that she will read what, three, and they're three. all very long books yeah. so she could in theory just read these 33 books <laughs> yeah and it would still keep her quite busy yes. i mean i hope not i hope you find other things that you enjoy <laughs> yes hopefully <laughs> like i have i'm all branched out into I'm all, magic misfits is only four books and they're not exactly long but they're good and okay. I al also i've started reading april henry okay a mystery i'm not familiar they, with that one they make a she makes a bunch of mystery books and miss kaufman said that Ma, eventually she's going to mention she's going to tell me about a i'm a british British author, I believe, that she thinks I would really enjoy. Terry so, Pratchett? Maybe. I don't know. But I also like Terry Pratchett. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, be. Terry Pratchett, that sounds like you. I wonder. You could probably start reading some of the Discworld books now. I might. Who knows? <laughs> well, and have you read all of the Tiffany Akins? Um, no. I'm on Hatful Sky. Okay. So, see, she does have a few other reading interests. You know, Mostly once, Red Bull. once you force her to start talking, she reveals that there are other things that she will read. <laughs> but it's mostly Red Bull and keep it listening. But it's still mostly Red Bull. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's 22 books. I even have a favorite book, book 16. I'm a, I sadly do not have it. I actually thought that one of my friends was going to get it for me. Instead, they got me a very cute dog stuffy, stuffy. But I thought they were going to get book 16 for me because I found a way to torture them with one, this one song in Red in Redwall book 14. I thought you said book 16. No, book 16 is my favorite, but I found a song to torture them oh. with 14. Oh, good grief. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are missing several of the Redwall books. Yes, you don't I own only all have of them. 1 through 12. She only has 1 through 12, so you're missing 10 of them. Yes. Okay. Wait, no, I have. I also have book 14. I got it at um, a library that Grumpy brought us to. Oh, and they were, like, selling a copy? Yeah. An old library and copy? Actually, let me, real quick, I'll be back, don't worry. Wait, she she left us again. I, I'm only late. She's a show-and-tell kid, if you haven't noticed. Yes, she I am. She likes to show off things. She's, uh... <laughs> She's a fun girl. She's my one super social extroverted child. Um, Havelock is too a little bit, but he's also very young yet. I don't, I don't really see that as like a permanent personality thing. But Evie is definitely a true extrovert, <laughs> which can be kind of difficult in a family full of introverts sometimes. But at the same time, I feel like we need her. She has forced us to experience I'm things back. that we would not have otherwise done here she comes again guys here she is here she is so this is a book series that i started i never end up finishing it because that because i started this around the time that i discovered um uh, the other books of redwall yeah i bought this series for you guys yeah, at I, one point i liked it that was i started it, and it was a pretty good book when okay. i got started but then da, 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 Oh, yes. This is another find that I had. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, it's necessary to for me to show it off. There are three of these books? Four. Four. And I <laughs> did finally get all four. This was another amazing yes. Christmas gift yes. one year, wasn't it? Yes. For Christmas? Yes, it was. Um, and was that the fourth book? 
that's that I told you. Oh, I don't think Santa's gonna be able to find the fourth book. Yeah, because he doesn't publish books. Yeah, no, <laughs> something he, I don't remember what I told her, but <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't publish books. <laughs> And I that book's out of publication? I don't remember what I told her. Um, no, I, I, I'm pretty sure she told me, like, they only sell in sets of four, and he doesn't want to give you a duplicate of one of your favorite books. Okay, I don't remember. Sure that's what you told me. But I did, I did end up finding <laughs> yeah. a copy of this book, and you got all hardcover, right? They're all hardcover? Um, yes, and I also have another copy of book, books one and two that are paper cover that are a paperback okay yeah yep. but this is this is a really good book series i really like it it's all about this kid who really loves gonzo oh my kind of kid i know except for he turns into a muppet and he goes to space the kid does yes as a sixth grade boy yes wow <laughs> Evie? And, it's, and it's apparently all because Evie? of his sister that he did. Evie? What? You're not allowed to turn into a Muppet, dear. <laughs> well, it's actually because of his sister that he turned into a Muppet. His sister was obsessed with this thing called Flufferberries, I believe. They're weird. This, this one that can barf. I don't understand it. But she got this really, really, really rare, limited, like, really limited edition... You can tell it any wish that you want, and it will become true no matter what. Oh, my. And she wished for her brother to become a Muppet. Is he a Muppet in the other three books, then? Yes. Oh. Uh, but in book four, he does turn back. Okay. Interesting. I have not read the books. I just found them and went, oh, yeah. my daughter needs to get these. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my daughter needs these. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I am very happy with this Santa find. I also love, do you notice how quickly we reverted back to talking about? <laughs> yes, <Muppets>? yes. <laughs> Let's try a different topic, okay? <laughs> That's not um, gonna work. <laughs> what about sports? Do you play any sports? Um, I used to play football. You, she did play football. Oh, hey, you know what? What? Uh, I told you that Trent had the touchdown record. Yeah. For the district? Yeah. He also had the rushing record by, like, a ton. What's the rushing record? That's when you move the... When you're offensive and you move the ball by carrying it, by running, rushing with it. Oh, He wow. beat the district record by almost a full thousand yards. Oh, jeez. And the original record was set the same year that Oma was in high school. Her oh, senior yeah. year of high school. Yeah, no, he's impressive, you could say. Yeah, I don't, I forgot to tell you that. I knew you'd find that pretty impressive. Yeah, All right, no, so, that's very impressive. Anyway, but yes, she did play football all the way up until last year. And yeah. then what happened? Then what sport did you find? Um, volleyball. <laughs> mm hmm I kind of fell in love with volleyball after that. And I'm very happy about that. I, I kind of felt sad when my, well, because we can't play volleyball um only something eighth graders sadly have there's not a played. sixth grade volleyball team yes oh my my friend my friend berkeley guess what <laughs> she she started playing well cedar springs volleyball because they had volleyball um during the beginning of the year and she told me i'm like you didn't tell me about this. You, you, you didn't tell me. Well, uh, that is sad. It would have been very hard for us to have figured out how to do that, though, dear. Good point. But still. Um, but the winter, there still will be that, like, youth league that's yeah, five rocket, or six weeks, right? Rocket, rocket football. No. Rocket volleyball. Rocket volleyball, okay. Um, it's used, rocket is basically used for everything that's not... Like, actually supported by the school. It's right, it's not a school-sanctioned sport. So, like, there's rocket football, there's rocket volleyball, stuff like that. Okay. And that's how she started with volleyball last year, is she yeah. gave that a try. And I'm very happy that I did. I have fallen in love with it. Absolutely in love. It's a very fun sport. 
and I am very much and happy about it. Also, I mean, this frog rack is adorable. That is a really cute frog rack. Well, Evie, is there anything else that you want to share with people before we call this whip and chat done and good? Um, I would like to share the fact that, Allah, if you guys have like any book suggestions, because I'm very picky with my books. I also very much love Greek mythology. If you have like any book suggestions, please share them because um, uh, like, my teachers are trying to find things that I will read. Other have you read the Rick Riordan books? Um, yes. Okay, I thought so. Including 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Okay. That was really good. I liked it. But yeah. All right, so she's looking for book suggestions. Otherwise, this is my now 11-year-old daughter, my baby <laughs> girl. Daughter number three is now 11. <laughs> Yes. Big sixth grader. Yes. Which for other countries is your seventh year in school is sixth grade. So seventh year in school already. And yes. she loves weaving. She adores the Muppets. She's in volleyball. <laughs> she likes math. She frogs. loves to read. Frogs. She likes frogs. And otters. Have you had a good birthday? Yes, oh, I'd God. say so. <laughs> I'd say so, at least. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please, yes. please, please, please like this video if please you have liked a great it. Time. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Comment with the community question. What is your favorite Muppet and or favorite Muppet related film, video, or television you, special? And a book suggestion. And Evie wants a book, suge book suggestion. So, all right. As I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone is going through. So it's just easier to be kind. Just show kindness. And in return, I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon. Yes.